Hi guys, Rocky Brook Farmstead. Uh, Ken here. Savannah. Uh, we are doing our collaboration with the awesome Homestead. They are really awesome. Yes. Uh, so with the collaboration, we sent them some questions that they were going to answer, and they sent us some questions that we're going to answer. And apparently I got mixed up. I was supposed to have it up at 6 a.m. this morning. So I'm sorry for that. But here we go. All right. Our first question was, how long has your family been in the homesteading, farmsteading lifestyle? Oh, man. Well. Yeah, this is going to be about as real as real. Uh, uh, well, we've been in Vernon for three years. So three, four, four yeah, about, about four, four years, years now. You know, we kind of started out. Small, just a little garden. And a few chicks. <laughs> yeah, a couple chickens. Not the 40 we're at. So about three years. <laughs> yeah, about three. I'd say uh, three and growing to more self-sustainability. I mean, we've been looking into it for a lot longer, but actually doing it about three years. Ago. Yeah. All right, our next one is, what are the differences between farmsteading and homesteading? Oh, this one, I, you know, I went back and forth with this one. I've thought about this one a lot. This one really yeah, got me, you know, because, I mean, to the point where I went and started looking at the definition of a farm versus a homestead. And for me, personally, I don't know about Savannah, but to me, farmsteading would be uh, growing your own food, of course, like homesteading, everything like homesteading, you know, raising your own animals, things like that, but providing food and selling food to others. Not only keeping the food for ourselves, but growing enough food and doing enough animals to be able to sell uh, eggs, chicken. eggs, chickens, pigs, uh, goats. Um, I'm, I, I'm sure homesteaders already do that, but to me, you know, a farm was kind of like something, a farm was something that produced food and stuff for commercial to sell and things like that. And, since we do a lot of that, uh, we kind of consider ourselves a farmstead. Yes. All right. Question three. What do you all find the most challenging and most rewarding about this lifestyle? <laughs> well, most challenging for us here in Washington is finding land, a place to be, to live this kind of lifestyle. It's not really accepted as a norm here. Yeah, Washington, it's illegal to... Harvest your own rainwater. Um, so just a quick little thing. We've been staying, for people that don't know, uh, at her parents. I built a tiny house. We've been staying there. Had our animals, doing everything. You know, setting ourselves up. You know, saving money to buy a piece of property. But just, there's, the property is really expensive. Uh, we just seen on the news that you can buy a town, a whole town in Oregon for what it costs you to buy a nice house in Seattle. I'm not saying that the town's great in Oregon, I don't know, but that's, it's still a town. It's bigger than an apartment in Seattle. Yes. <laughs> and number four, do you plan on getting more animals? Why in, or why not, and what kind? <laughs> well, due to our situation, we're actually downsizing our animals right now, but of course, we're gonna get more animals. Uh, I'll have more pigs, I'll have more chickens. Uh, going to Missouri, I might think about actually getting an alpaca. They're really good for protector animals. So I've thought about uh, alpaca. Uh, ducks, we'll get back into our ducks a little bit more. Definitely mm. chickens. Maybe a cat, uh, outside <laughs> cat, mouser. We didn't have one of those, so. Would be nice out of that. Yes. But yes, definitely more animals wherever we end probably, up. Instead. Probably uh, some geese. Yeah, animals have been a, a good uh, project for us to work on amidst well, everything else. And it's a good stress relief. You go out yeah. and hang out with the animals, man, it, there's nothing better than that uh, for me. Yeah, and for me, kind of took over your flocks. Yeah, she did take over the chickens. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, well, I'm not is... trying to be really shaky. I, didn't have time to grab my selfie stick. <laughs> what is your favorite animal on our homestead? For me, I would have to say it is uh, Brutus, our male boar pig. 
Uh, you can go in there and people say, oh, they're really rowdy if they're not fixed. They're really, you know, aggressive. They stink. He's such a nice boy. You just go in there. I can sit on a stump, rub him to the point where he's ready to fall over. Just, he's great. Uh, for me, I'd probably have to say a few of our hens. Um, I name them all. All our chickens have names. Uh, I start collecting their eggs and I just find them more enjoying the chickens following me around the yard. They follow me down the road for a walk. They'll follow me to the car. Uh, anytime I step out for the tiny house, they are there. And so I've really, really learned to enjoy that and uh, learn their different personalities, different behaviors. So that's been, I think for me, my favorite. I enjoy the piggies though too. <laughs> All right. What advice would you give people thinking about living this lifestyle? That's a really good question. <laughs> that's a really good one. Uh, some advice would be, you know, if you really want to do it and you have the means to do it. I mean, we don't have a lot of money, so, just do it. I mean, you can yeah. do it. I mean, don't be afraid, you know, don't let people look down on you. See, we've had a lot of people go, what? You want a homestead? You mean, you don't want to have electricity? You don't want to have, that's kind of weird. And, you know, people just not, they don't understand it. I think if we got a little more education out of there, you know, people understood that where their food's really coming from and uh, the quality of life and really teaching your kids you know the the proper way of living life without video games and you know just and I'm, not, and I'm not saying we don't let our son play video games i mean sure you know i mean it's <laughs> it's a good uh good way to i don't know i guess you can call it a babysitter if you need a little bit of time but your mom need to talk you know but you know Especially living off grid <laughs> you know that it that doesn't that doesn't happen but I mean, just do it. I mean, you can do it. I mean, make sure you look up your laws and your states. Uh, I'd say that. That's probably one of your number one things. Is look at the laws for your state, for your area. Because, um, like, what we're finding is we can't have animals in a lot of the residential areas here. And we live in the country. We're out in the we're woods. 40 and we miles still away. can't have that. 40 miles away, either way to go to Walmart or any town. Yeah. But, and so I would... Definitely know what you're getting into if you choose this lifestyle, where you're at location is definitely going to be important. And we're learning that and hopefully we'll be making that change to pursue how we want to live more. And you can do it. Just do it. Yeah. How off grid are we? Um, well, now? right now <laughs> uh, we're not. Last night we were, slept in the van. Um, right now we got lucky. We're we're being let stay in a house with no septic or water. So we have power, but no septic or water. Yeah, and at the tiny house, we still had power. Um, we just didn't have access to like full time into the bathroom off the tiny house. We Everything evolved around being able to use a larger home, someone else's home to do that. Um, so off grid, we want to be more off grid here. We have everything still. Um, we are just trying to reduce our usage personally over how everyone else lives around us. All right, next one. What are our future plans for your channel? For our channel, <laughs> wow. We got... Quite a bit well, now. We're going to have a whole adventure coming. I mean, uh, from the traveling from Washington to Missouri to... I mean, we'll bring you along to everything. Yeah. Signing the papers with Homestead Crossing, if if that works out. I mean, and if you see like our other home. video, you'll see the ugly stuff, the actual emotional stuff of us trying to figure out what we're going to do and ultimately kind of getting the shove into pursuing this kind of lifestyle more. And, you know, being real, because that's what we're about. We're real, you know. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean... It is what it is. I mean, yeah. So we'll probably just share our adventures and hopefully once we're settled somewhere else, we get to do more projects and, and bring and, more. And I've that. learned so much off of YouTube and all the great channels that are out there that I'll show you some cool stuff. I've, I've learned some cool stuff, a way of building stuff. I'm, I'll be building a tiny house and, uh, and sheds and fences and, and I'll do it. I, I'm going to do it on a budget. 
I'll show people how to do it on a budget for it. Don't cost you hardly anything. No, it definitely will be on a budget. We're on a budget now. Well, I think, well, <laughs> where we're at now with the tiny house, the one, two, three, four, four chicken houses and the pig house and two ho hoop houses, uh, eight pigs, 40 chickens, three ducks, two dogs. I'm into the whole thing. I built everything myself. I'm only into it about $800. So, I mean, some, that's probably a lot of money, but it was a lot of work. It was over three years, too. It, wasn't, yeah, it doesn't happen it, overnight. It, it doesn't happen overnight. It's one thing at a time and but, priority and go from there. But if you're interested, we'll show you how to do that. All right. Do you plan to continue homesteading in Washington or somewhere else? <laughs> well, that's another good question, you know, because I had been talking with Awesome Homestead, you know, back and forth, like every day. I mean, before all this, other before everything really got happening, but, you know, kind of weighing our options of what we were going to do. And so, no, we're not going to be in Washington. We will be going to Missouri. And we are very excited, but very, very, very scared. Um, we did a similar thing before we moved back here. Similar, we bought a piece of place. Well, started buying a piece of place in Alaska, kind of sight unseen, kind of same thing. And when we got up there, got all of our stuff there, the guy reneged on us and changed the price. And it, we ended up having to move back to Washington. So we're real, real, real scared about that. But at least here, you know, we're going to be closer to a town. We're going to be closer to great people. We're going to be getting back into the true community of homesteading. And that's, that's the exciting part for us. And I think at this point is where we're at now. I grew up here. I know a lot of people here. My son goes to a great school here. But there's not much left anymore for us to stay here um, due to circumstances that arose and unfortunately we ended up getting involved um it's just become a hardship and so i think the best bet is to go somewhere else um it's a hard decision it's a decision i didn't take lightly cried a lot a lot lot over it but i think uh, i think we may may need this opportunity to pursue the, the life we want pursue our happiness rather than others please pray for us you know this is going to be you know, a huge adventure, a huge journey, you know, there's going to be a lot, a lot to it. And we, we, we just wish that everybody could just give us our, their prayers and their thoughts and yeah. follow us, what? follow <laughs> us on our journey. And uh, we'll be in YouTube as much as we can along the way, data permitting, service permitting. Um, but that was great to do the questions. I was glad we were able to still try to put that in amongst everything we're sorry we didn't get it right up at 6 a.m like we needed to um but again the awesome homestead you need to go check out their page give them a like they've been helping us out so much in conversation and ideas and um tons of shout outs to our page so again thank you and i hope to meet you guys soon and hopefully do another collaboration maybe along our way to what to stop at or something we'll have to see make a plan yeah we'll, <laughs> we'll bring you guys along the whole journey uh, and like always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.